Well, hello there, and welcome to another episode of Traffic Jams. <laughs> these are the songs that are going to make the price of gas these days feel more like a great incentive to cut back on your own greenhouse emissions. Today I'm listening to Hey Ocean, an indie pop band from Vancouver, British Columbia. Their 2012 album, Is. The album is called Is. It is, 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 is what it is. I'm going to start out by telling you guys my favorite thing about this band. My favorite thing about this band is that the two founding members, David Beckingham and Ashley Ball, have been best friends since grade six. Isn't that cute? Isn't that sweet? Isn't that adorable? But friendship has nothing to do with writing good songs. Or does it? There are four full-length albums, numerous independent music awards, and millions upon millions of streams across various online platforms might suggest otherwise. It could also have something to do with the fact that even though Hey Ocean sadly is not a band anymore, the members are still supporting each other's independent projects, both with social media and by contributing in the studio or on the stage. But I'm getting away from the point. The point is, is, is a beautifully written, captured, and performed body of work. It's so good, in fact, that you will not only fall in love with it, it being is, you may also fall in love with love itself. And if that's not the case, I can almost guarantee that you will at the very least fall in love with Ashley Ball's voice. Wow, what a voice on this woman. Which leads me to another fun fact about this band, well, about Ashley, and that's that when she's not using her voice to bring audiences to tears, she's working as a voice actor. She's voiced multiple animated television series, everything from Johnny Test to My Little Pony, which garnered the band kind of a weird subset of crossover My Little Pony slash Hey Ocean fans that apparently would like bring My Little Pony merch to shows and make fan videos and that sort of thing. And she's even done some foreign overdubbing. I think that's pretty cool. She also has a handful of solo albums and just released a new one called Before the Magic's All Gone, which I would highly recommend you check out, especially if you are already a fan of Hey Ocean or if you go and check out this album and end up falling in love with it. All that to say, there is no shortage of quality content to check out here, so I hope you'll find time to go support these artists in some capacity, and I hope you'll keep your eyes on the road, and I hope you'll subscribe to this channel or turn on notifications for this page, and I hope you'll send me more Canadian albums to listen to, and I hope you'll come back for another episode of Traffic Jams next week. I'll see you then.